New updates are coming to the first Ascendant, and they are awesome. What's going on, everybody? We're going to go over the latest patch in the first Ascendant. This patch is a hotfix, 1.1.5, that was released on Thursday. And I have to say that I'm really happy with what the devs are doing and paying attention to the community and what they're doing to keep this game fresh. First up, uh, content improvement and bug fixes. Infiltration operation hard on 400%. Improved an intermittent screen lag issue that occurred while playing infiltration operations on the 400% missions. I did do a 400% mission last night and I still did see a slight lag. So hopefully that does get better. Fix an issue where the champion monster attribute and reward information are updated upon selecting the 400% scroll multiplier in the infiltration operation. Fix an issue where the right HUD information will display a fixed max score of 50,000 while playing infiltration operation hard on 400%. Besides the lag, I really haven't seen a lot of these issues, but that's good that they're fixing it. On to number two, ETA-0. I did do a video on this, and there will be a link to that video. Check that out if you have time. Added a select all option allows you to select all blueprints that you own more than one of when selling blueprints to ET 0 Love this. NNG-activated blueprints and crystallization catalyst blueprints can no longer be sold to the ETA-0. Awesome. I guess some people must have done that. Unfortunately, I did not. When selling blueprints to ETA-0, you can now only select blueprints up to the limit of reward you can hold. ETA-0 now continues to display the name of the items that have been sold out. Um, okay. I mean, that's good. You go in there and you can see, hey, it's sold out. But, again, a little quality of life update. Not bad. Number three, the invasion. Fix an issue with a mission mark will display at the previous location on restart after dying in the final battle area of Echo Swamp. The chapel where the invasion is taking place. Fix an issue, you can only join allies near the entrance of the final commander monster battle areas of Vespers, the shelter, fortress, quarantine zone, and Echo Swamp, the chapel where the invasion is taking place. Fix an issue where the UI did not display normally on the start screen when starting an invasion. Fix an issue where the outgoing damage increase per bomb on the creative explosion skill did not reflect correctly when SMO's creative explosion skill module. Haven't played a whole lot of SMO, so might play a little more, but I haven't seen that one, obviously. Five, add a button to the bottom of the game menu UI to check the event banner in game. That's interesting. Selecting a paint dye, a head skin, or hair now highlights the sentence head. I haven't really done a whole lot of that. Fix an issue in the forgotten comms device and ancient transmission detention facility missions in White Knight Gulch where designating a beacon as a waypoint displayed two markers. Okay, didn't haven't seen that. Fix an issue where additional monster summoned by monster skill during extermination missions display the extermination marker. Fix an issue where some text in the inventory list sorted by reactor was not displaying correctly. Well, who knows? Maybe I'll see something different when sorting. Number six, adding dismantle all tears option to exclude from junk filter. Select dismantling all tears designate all reactors and external components you own as junk. However, the enhanced reactors and external components with set effects need to be designated separately. Okay, that's interesting. I'm still having trouble with that whole filtering system. I just basically delete stuff by hand, but as this thing develops, I'm sure it's getting much better for a lot of people. Cash shop bundles that include descendant exclusive items now display the text. This product includes an exclusive item. Interesting. People, hopefully people can read. Made some changes to the chat ban word system. Huh. This is a good one. I don't know if you have. I have a few times when you go into the world chat. Some of the stuff in there is pretty crazy and sketchy. <laughs> Director's comments. I'm going to get into the good stuff. Greetings, descendants. This is the director of the first ascendant. Over the next week, the dev team will be conducting a final review process of the PS5 Pro build in order to deliver the Pro Enhanced features as a day one patch in time for the launch of the PS5 Pro. With the Pro Enhanced feature, we aim to bring you enhanced performance and visuals that you could not be experienced on the original PS5 from day one on the PS5 Pro launch. The final review of the PS5 Pro build is expected to last approximately one week, and there will be no updates next week to ensure QA and build stability. The 1.16 update is scheduled to go live Wednesday, October 30th. 
Today I will briefly comment on the 1.1.6 update scheduled for October 30th. First up is an update to improvements to the Special Operations Resource Defense. We're changing the waves in the Resource Defense to 10 stages. Dramatic reduce in play time, so all waves can be cleaned in about 15 minutes. This is great. It can be cleared even quicker as your descendant grows stronger. Awesome. Previously, players had to move to the monster spawn areas to find them, but with these improvements, battles will be concentrated around defense objects. We've also increased the number of monster spawns per wave, allowing you to experience tense battles as you defend your resources against the Volgus Onslaught. In addition to this, we will provide weapon proficiency as additional reward while maintaining the existing reward system. The dev team's goal is to make the resource defense the most efficient weapon proficiency farm. That's great. That's great, and they cut it way down, which is going to be awesome. Next, I would like to mention the addition of the actor implant system. Here we go. This is what we've all been waiting for. The the dev team has been working on the reactor implant system to eliminate the inconvenience of having to farm a new reactor every time you switch to a new weapon. Now, one ultimate reactor can have up to three weapon optimization conditions. This allows you to change your weapon during combat and still maintain your optimization conditions. Also, the second and third optimization conditions can be changed anytime, giving you the freedom to apply the optimization conditions you want whenever your weapon settings change. The dev team is constantly reviewing feedback and data on the reactor system and reactor farming and looking to bring you more improved reactor system in the long term. Please stay tuned. This is great. How many of us have been farming reactors for different weapons, trying to find those roles? So let's see how this goes. They've been talking about this for a while. We've also had various QOL improvements and ultimate weapon revamp in the works. Interesting to see how that turns out. Finally, and on Thursday, October 24th, we'll be rolling out the primary account setup feature on our official website. If you play the first Descendant on multiple platforms and have linked your Nexon account, this feature will allow you to set up and change the primary account of the official website and play the game with a set primary account. We'll provide more details in another announcement on Thursday, October 24th. Then on Wednesday, October 30th, the much-requested rename game account feature will become available, which will also be announced in a separate announcement. The dev team is always listening to your feedback, and we're giving it our all to make the first Ascendant even more enjoyable to play. We sincerely appreciate your continued interest in invaluable feedback, and we will continue to make progress step by step to meet your expectations, so please look forward to it. Thank you. Well, I will say, everyone, that just reading this and just as what this game has done in the short time that it's been out, it's amazing what this dev team has done. Unlike a certain other game that the dev team decided to take quote unquote the summer off and the game died. And that game was forty bucks. Looking at you, Hell Divers. So all in all this is a pretty hefty update and the new update coming out on one point one point six is gonna be even better. We're all looking forward to the reactors. Can't wait. Let's see where it goes. And it just shows that they don't want this game to die. If you ever want to ask me questions live, I do stream on Twitch on Wednesday and Thursday at seven thirty PM Eastern and Sunday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern. As always, I do appreciate you watching this video. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing, hit the notification bell, giving it a like, and a comment below of what you think of the video or what you'd like to see in future videos. I also have a Discord. There's a link in the description below. You can come in there and ask questions as well. With all these amazing things coming to the First Ascendant, you should check out this video on how to combine modules.